just want to sit here at your feet, caught up in this holy moment. I never want to leave. Oh, I'm not here for blessings. Jesus, you don't owe me anything more than anything that you can do. I just want you. Oh, I'm sorry when I've just gone through the motions. I'm sorry when I just sang another song. Take me back to where we started. I open up my heart to you. Oh, I'm sorry when I've come with my agenda. I'm sorry. When I forgot that you're enough, take me back to where we started. I open up my heart to you. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else. Anything I put before my God is an idol. And anything I want with all my heart is an idol. Anything I can stop Anything that I give all my love is an idol. Cause you can sing all you want to. Yes, you can. Sing all you want to. Sing all you want to. Still get it wrong. 
the stage and set the sounds and lights ablaze. That's the measure you must take to crush the idols. Jerk the pews and all the decorations too. Until the congregations few that have revival. Tell your friends that this is where the party ends. Until you're broken for your sins, you can't be social. And seek the Lord and what he has in store. And know that great is your reward, so just be. I want more. 
Amen. Hallelujah. On this Wednesday night, we want more of you, God. We want more of you, God. We want to bring you greetings, amen, from Living Hope, amen. Thank you for joining us on a Wednesday night. But it's just something that we just want more of God on tonight. We want more of your power. We want more of your spirit. We want more of your love. We want more of your joy. I know we're all going through some things right now with us not being in service. But can we just say, I want more of God on tonight. Can we give God just a little bit more praise? I want more of you, God. I want more of your spirit. I want more of your love, oh God. I want more of your power, God. As they sing, I want more, y'all. Will you at home lift your hands? God is here. He hasn't left us. He hasn't forsaken us. But on tonight, God, give us more. God, we want more. God, we need more. God, we pouring out for more, God. We're asking for more, God. We're asking for more, God. God, do it by your anointing, God. God, give us more. Amen. Hallelujah. Truly, we thank God on tonight. Amen. Truly, it's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. We do miss everybody being here with us, but we did come out tonight just to tell you that we want more of God tonight. Even though we can't see our way right now, but we know God is able to keep us. We know God is able to touch us. We know God is able to come into your living room and give you just what God needs you to have. He got us here for a particular time and a particular reason, amen, for us to give God praise like never before. I'm excited on tonight. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to give God praise tonight. I'm excited to give God glory tonight. I'm excited to give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let me calm down a little bit because I get excited thinking about what God has done for us this far. Amen. Amen. Even in a pandemic, we still give God praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're going to get to our titles pledge. Amen. We have a dynamic speaker on tonight. Amen. Brother Bird is coming tonight. Amen. But if you look at the bottom of your screen, you will see where you can give. And we do have a title split that we recite together. We do this every service, amen, because we believe that when you sow into the household of faith, amen, that God's going to bless you more and more, amen. If you believe that, let's put our hands together and give God praise, amen. Truly, he's worthy, hallelujah. And we all going to read together. Upon the authority, by the orders of your word, I give cheerfully today, and it should be given to me, pressed down, shaken together, 
and running over. I may tithe, but I bring my first fruit, my tithe, into your storehouse. I understand that every good gift comes from you. As I give, the enemy is rebuked and the curse is broken. You pour out upon me such a blessing, there is not enough room to receive. I shall be blessed going in, I shall be blessed going out, and all that I do will prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together and give God praise if you believe that he's going to do it. Amen. Back to the praise team at this time. You 
change everything. Jesus, you change everything. Jesus, you change everything. Jesus, you change everything. Show us your glory. Show us your glory. In wonder and surrender we fall down. Show us your glory. Show us your glory. Let every burning heart be holy now. Come and have your way, Jesus. Show us your glory. Chains fall, fear bow here right now. Jesus, you change everything. Lives healed, hope is found here right now. Jesus, you change everything. Chains fall, fear, bow, here, now. Jesus, you change everything. Life, here, hope, found, here, now. Jesus, you change everything. Change Amen. How many knows that Jesus changes everything? Hallelujah. Come on tonight, Living Hope family. How many knows that Jesus changes everything? Amen. Everything tonight. Hallelujah. So wonderful tonight to be able to come and worship on a Wednesday night. Amen. I know we might not be here in body. Amen. But we're here in spirit. Amen. And I'm so thankful tonight. Amen. Just to be a part. Looking forward to what God's going to do tonight. And I know that I hope that everything that uh, is uh, according to his will. Amen. That we'll be blessed. Amen. And I'm just want to say, just start off by saying we surely miss everyone and so thankful that to be a part of this amazing church family. And I know that uh, during this time of this epidemic, is things is different than what we're used to. But how many knows God's still in control? Amen. And he knows exactly, amen, what's going to take place. Amen. And I pray that you trust him. Amen. With everything in you to, with this going on, that you trust that, amen, he's going to make it right. Amen. Praise the Lord tonight. Amen. I will say that uh, I've got a, a lot of ground to cover in a short time to get there. Amen. So I just want to really dive right on into my scriptures tonight. I do want to say this before we get started. I want to appreciate each and every one. Amen. Tonight that helps make this possible through our production team and through uh, the sound and media and the 
uh, everyone that participates, our musicians, our singers, amen. And I just let you know out there, amen, it's a difference when you come in and have to uh, uh, worship and record with no one there. Amen. So I just want to give them uh, a hand clap of praise right there in your living room. Just give them amen because they're doing such an amazing job. And I appreciate everything. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Acts. Acts chapter number 1. Very familiar passage of Scripture tonight. But I pray that something will stir our hearts like it has mine. Amen. Acts chapter 1 and begin reading at verse number 1. And it says, And the former treatise have I made, O Theophilus, for all those all that Jesus began both to do and teach unto the day in which he was taken up. After that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptizes with water, but he shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, and not many days hence. When they, they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of, to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the time or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the other most parts of the earth. And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfast towards heavens as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up unto the heavens? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you unto the heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Verse number 12, Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey. And when they were come in, they went up unto the upper room. Let us pray. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, for the next few moments, God, I ask you, God, just to take a coal off the altar, Lord, and place it upon my lips, Jesus. Lord, that I might speak to your people tonight, God, that that you've spoken unto my heart, oh God. God, I ask you, God, just to help us these next few moments, Lord, and we give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. In your precious holy name, I do pray in the mighty name of Jesus. And right there in your living room, say amen. 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 I want to preach a little while tonight on just a simple topic. Amen. 40 days. 40 days. Now, I saw a post the other day that just kind of confirmed some things that was in my spirit to go along with this message tonight. But we know that throughout the Bible that numbers, amen, or, or certain numbers play a significant role in scriptures. And just to throw some of them out there, three and seven and 40, amen, we know that seven means completion. Eight means a new beginning, amen. But I want to focus tonight on the at number 40. And all through the Bible, we see that number 40 just beginning in Genesis chapter number seven and verse four, amen, the flood lasted 40 days, amen, amen. Exodus 24 and 18, Moses spent 40 days uh, on Mount Sinai receiving the covenant. Amen. Numbers 13 and 25, there was 12 spies that, fence, that spent 40 days in the land of Canaan. Amen. Numbers 14 and 32, uh, amen. The children of Israel wandered in the wilderness for 40 days. Uh, amen. Jonah chapter number 4 and verse 4, uh, amen. Jonah preached, uh, amen, and warned Nineveh that judgment was coming in 40 days. Uh, amen. We know 
know that in Luke 4 that Jesus fasted 40 days. Uh, amen. But I want to get to where I want to preach to you tonight. Uh, amen. The 40 days after the resurrection. Uh, amen. Don't you know that there's a lot that took place. Uh, amen. In 40 days after resurrection. Uh, amen. Tonight, you know, God. Uh, amen. That's where I want to focus on. Uh, amen. After he done been beat. Uh, after he done been stripped. Uh, after he done been blood and they took him off that bloody cross. Uh, amen. And a man by the name of Joseph of Armathir. Uh, amen. Begged for the body of Jesus. Uh, amen. And they laid him in a tomb. Uh, amen. But can I tell you tonight, you know, God. Uh, amen. That the Jesus that I serve tonight. Uh, amen. He's not dead in a tomb. Uh, amen. But he made himself uh, of a lie. Uh, amen. And for the next 40 days. Uh, amen. It looked like all hell had broke loose. Uh, it looked like the enemy had won. Uh, amen. The disciples that walked with him. Uh, amen. They were just kind of down and out. Uh, Mary Magdalene. Uh, amen. She ran back to the tomb. Uh, amen. Looking for him. Uh, and this is where I want to start at tonight. Uh, amen. When Mary Magdalene went back to the tomb. Uh, amen. Two men that was dressed there. Uh, amen. They looked at her and said, why seek ye the living? Uh, amen. Among the dead. Uh, amen. For he's arisen. Uh, he's not here. Uh, amen. But he's alive. Uh, just as he's spoken in the scriptures. Uh, amen. Just like he said. Uh, amen. He's alive. Hallelujah. Amen. And we know, amen, that when Jesus appeared unto Mary Magdalene, amen, she was there, amen, that morning, and she began to look, amen, and she didn't recognize him, and she met him on the road, and she said, Sir, amen, can you tell me where they've laid him? Amen, I'll go and get him. If you'll just tell me, amen, where you've took him. And the Bible said that Jesus looked at Mary Magdalene, uh, and he said Mary uh, amen and his eyes her eyes was open uh, amen when her eyes was open uh, she cried out Rabboni uh, my Lord uh, and my God uh, I don't know about you tonight living hope uh, amen but 24 years ago uh, amen he touched my blinded eyes uh, amen he gave me life uh, amen he gave me hope uh, amen that I could see again uh, amen she cried Rabboni uh, my Lord and my God. Amen. I want to know tonight. Amen. What is in your heart? Hallelujah. Amen. And she fell down and he looked at her. Amen. And he said, don't touch me. Amen. I have not ascended unto my father and your father. Amen. And the Bible said, he said, go and tell my disciples. Amen. While she departed to tell the news that Jesus had risen. Amen. They was two on the road to Emmaus. <laughs> Amen. They was two on the road to Emmaus just all down and out because Jesus of Nazareth that they had walked with and talked with and supped with, now he's gone. But right there on that road to Emmaus' house, Amen. On the road of Emmaus, he appeared unto them. Amen. And he began to speak with them. And they constrained him and said, Would you abide and with us towards evening? Amen. Hallelujah. And the Bible said he vanished out of their sight. Amen. And they was gathered there ten. And Thomas wasn't there. Uh, amen. They gathered their ten. Thomas wasn't there. Uh, amen. Notice here. Uh, amen. That the door was locked. Uh, amen. But how many knows the door just can't stop him. Uh, amen. He just walked through the door. Uh, amen. Can I tell you tonight. Uh, amen. If your door is locked. Uh, amen. He can walk through your door tonight. Uh, amen. Uh, I said he can walk through your door tonight. Uh, amen. There ain't a lock that can keep him out. Uh, amen. Tonight. Turn him God. Uh, amen. Amen. They sat there. Uh, amen. And he began to talk with them. Uh, and he began to reveal himself unto them. Uh, and he began to break bread. Uh, amen. And he began to reveal himself to them. Uh, and he looked at them and he said, Touch me. Uh, handle me. Uh, feel me. Uh, amen. Because a spirit uh, has not uh, flesh and bone. Uh, amen. He said, Talk to me. Touch me. Feel me. Amen. Because a spirit. Uh, amen. No how flesh and bone. Own. Amen. And all of a sudden, he just vanished. Amen. 
Hallelujah. When he vanished, uh, amen, he just walked through the wall. Uh, amen. And they cried within themselves, Brother Robertson, uh, did not our hearts burn within us? Uh, amen. They sang a song and never met a man, uh, never met a man, uh, never met a man like Jesus. Uh, amen. I've never heard a man, uh, amen, speak with such authority, uh, with such power, uh, with such demonstration. Uh, amen. They said, uh, oh, did not our hearts burn within us? They began to tell Thomas what had happened. He, man, Thomas said, I won't believe until I put my hands in his hands. I won't believe until I see it for myself. Just hold on, Brother Thomas, because in about eight days, you're going to get to see him. Eight days passed, and Jesus appeared unto Thomas. And he began to talk to Thomas. He said, Thomas, it's I. Put your hands in my hand. Thrust your hands in my side. Amen. He began to tell Thomas. He said, Thomas, blessed are those. He said, you you see and believe, Thomas. He said, but more blessed are they, amen, that believe but have not seen. Uh, amen. Can I tell you tonight, living hope, uh, I've never seen them nail scarred hands. Uh, I've never trust my hand in his side. Uh, amen. I've never seen the crown of thorns on his head. Uh, amen. But can I tell you tonight, uh, amen, I believe. Uh, oh yeah, I really do believe. Uh, amen. That there's a heaven. Uh, amen. Somewhere. Uh, I said, I really do believe, uh, amen, that there's a heaven, uh, amen, somewhere. He said, more blessed are you, Thomas. Uh, he said, you see and believe. Uh, he said, but blessed are they. Uh, I come to tell you tonight, live in hope. Uh, amen, you are blessed because you believe uh, that he is uh, everlasting tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to get down to another time. I've got a lot of places to go and a short time to get there tonight. I want to speak to where we are tonight. Some time has passed. And Peter looked at to the ones that was around him. He said, I'm going fishing. All this is over with now. I'm going fishing. And they looked at Peter and they said, Peter, if you're going fishing, we're going with you. Can I tell you right here tonight, Living Hope family, the Bible said that the power of life and death lieth in the tongue. He said evil communication corrupts good manners. Amen. Tonight, uh, I don't know what voice you're listening to and I don't know what influence is in your life. Uh, amen. But I would know that I know that I know. Uh, the Bible said make your call and in your election sure. Uh, amen. Uh, I know the voice that I was listening to. Uh, amen. He said my sheep know my voice. Uh, amen. And a stranger they will not follow. Uh, amen. What voice have you been listening to? Uh, amen. What voice are you hearing? Uh, amen. Peter said I'm going to fishing uh, amen they said we're going to uh, and the Bible said they went out there and they fished all night uh, amen I'm telling somebody's story uh, amen you tried and tried and tried and tried and tried uh, amen even in this time uh, even in this epidemic uh, amen you've tried to read and you've tried to pray uh, and you've tried to get close to God uh, amen but just like out in the midnight uh, with the scars are shining bright uh, out on that water Peter was fishing uh, amen but can I tell you uh, even though his body was there uh, and he was letting the nets down uh, amen but his heart uh, amen wasn't on that lake that night uh, his heart uh, amen wasn't fishing that night uh, all he could think about uh, amen was Jesus uh, all he could think about was the one that he loved amen what am I going to do now and morning started breaking I come to tell somebody tonight, you've toiled all night. You fished all night. You rolled all night. And now daybreak is beginning to break. But you've caught nothing. Nothing has changed. Nothing is happening. Same old, same old. 
thing. Time after time after time. Caught nothing. But there was a voice. Begin to speak. And he looked at him. He said, children, do you have any meat? He said, no. We fished all night. They still didn't recognize him. We fished all night. He said, let your nets down on the right side. The Bible said, they said, nevertheless, at thy word. And the Bible said they let the nets down on the right side of the boat. Amen. They began to bring in a harvest that they could not contain. Bible said weeping may endure for a night but joy is coming in the morning right. oh, there's a harvest coming turn of God there's a harvest coming there's harvest time that's coming Jesus revealed himself unto them he looked at them in verse number 12 hey amen and Jesus said unto them come and have come and dine come and dine none of the disciples ventured to question who are you knowing that it was the Lord Jesus came and took bread and gave it to them and fish likewise. Another time he showed himself to 500 all through this 40 days from resurrection. But then I want to get to the last part. And this is where I want to preach to you tonight. Before his ascension, Luke 24 and 50. And it says, and he led them out as far as Bethany. And he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And while he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into the heavens. And they, after worship him, returned unto Jerusalem with great joy. And were continually in the temple praising God. Let me read that one more time. And the Bible said, while he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into the heavens. And they worshiped him. And they worshiped him. Picking up in Acts chapter 1, where we started at tonight, listen to what it says. He said, the former treaties have I made of the apophis and of all that Jesus began to do both and teach until the day in which he had taken up. He was taken up. After that, he through the Holy Ghost had given commandment unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom after he showed himself alive by many passions and by many infallible proofs, being seen of them for the day, speaking unto the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Forty days he talked to them. Forty days he showed himself to be alive. Mary, Rabboni, on Gamesh Road, peered through the wall, did not our hearts burn within us. Thomas, blessed are you because you see and believe. So met him at the sea. Told him to come and die. Showed himself to 500, 5,000. And then right before he ascended. And the Bible said they went back into Jerusalem blessing and praising him. But I want to preach 40 days. Theologians believe that 40 days represents change. It's time of preparing it's not coincident and it's not prepped or prepared that they sung the song, Jesus changes everything. It wasn't planned and it wasn't script tonight, but told by the ordinance of Almighty God. And he said that theologians believe that 40 represents change. It's the time of preparing a person or people to make fundamental changes 40 days Jesus looked at him and told him that he showed himself 
by many infallible proofs being seen of them 40 days speaking to things that's pertaining unto the kingdom of God. And as he was ascending up into heavens, they were gazing. And two men dressed in white apparel began to speak, You men of Galilee, why stand here in the heavens gaze for this same Jesus? You shall see go away, shall come again in like manner. Uh, can I tell you tonight, living hope family, amen, he's soon to come again. Uh, amen, he's soon to come again tonight. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. But he said, uh, amen, after this, uh, amen, he told them to tarry into Jerusalem uh, until they be endued with power. Uh, amen. Notice here, uh, amen, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but notice here, uh, amen, he showed himself 40 days. Uh, amen. And it's 50 days to Pentecost. Uh, amen. So, uh, amen. After the 40th day that he ascended into the heavens, uh, amen, that's 10 days. Uh, amen. Something uh, is about to happen uh, that's going to rock the world. Uh, amen. They didn't want him to leave. Uh, amen. They didn't want him uh, to go away, but he told them, uh, he said, it's expedient, uh, amen, that I go away uh, because if I go not away, uh, amen, the comforter won't come. Uh, but when he comes, uh, amen, the spirit of truth, uh, He'll lead you and guide you and direct you uh, into the path of righteousness. Ah, uh, ten days. Amen. They're waiting. Amen. They're in the upper room. Uh, amen. Forty days he had sent it. Ten days to Pentecost. Amen. They're waiting. Uh, I don't know what's going through their mind. Uh, amen. They're wondering, is it going to happen? What's going to change? I've seen him. Uh, amen. I've seen him. Uh, amen. But I do know one thing. Uh, amen. Something is on the horizon. Uh, there's a change. Uh, and the Bible said, uh, amen, in Acts 2, uh, on the day of Pentecost, uh, Amen. When the Pentecost was fully come. Uh, amen. There was a sound uh, out of heaven. Uh, amen. As a sound of a rushing mighty wind. Uh, amen. And it filled the house. Uh, amen. Listen at this. Uh, amen. Uh, hallelujah. It might be coincident. Uh, amen. But I don't believe my God does anything coincidental. Uh, amen. I believe everything is done for a purpose and a reason. Uh, amen. Uh, and we're in the year 2020. Uh, Amen. Tonight, you know, God. Uh, amen. God is not wringing his hands in heaven. Uh, amen. Wondering what I'm going to do. Uh, he's not worried about the coronavirus. Uh, amen. But how many knows? Uh, amen. He's taking this time uh, for a purpose. Amen. Listen to this. Just let this set in just a moment. This is what struck me the other day. March 23rd, they officially went on lockdown. Quarantine. The word, the root word of Latin word of quarantine means 40. They began to go on quarantine lockdown on March the 23rd. And they say that things are going to start slowly opening back on May 1st. From March 23rd to May 4th is exactly 40 days. Exactly 40 days. And can I tell you, just as Jesus prepared them for them 40 days, he prepared them for his agenda. And just as he prepared his disciples for his agenda and his work, could this time be? These 40 days that he's trying to prepare me and you for his agenda. For his agenda. The Bible says tonight, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared. He don't have a problem tonight. Interrupting our plans. We see during this pandemic that we've been in for the last weeks that they say that's opening back up May 1st, some little by little. 
What have you allowed him to prepare in your heart for these 40 days? I confess to you tonight that up until Easter Sunday morning, I found myself agitated, aggravated, frustrated, probably somewhat grumpy. Not because of being quarantined and shut up in the house with my family, because thankfully my job was an essential job. And I didn't see much change because I was going in and out frequently. But I could tell something in my spirit, Pastor Johnson, wasn't right. I could feel myself just being like a short fuse, agitated, frustrated. Nothing wasn't right. Nothing couldn't go right. And I could feel myself just becoming cold and bitter. I've been coming to church. We've been recording these services and God's been meeting us here. But something on the inside wasn't clicking. Easter Sunday morning, we got up that morning. We got dressed as a family. 10.30, we took communion. And during communion... I felt the Spirit of God sweep in my living room. And I began to hear the voice of God speak to me. And He began to rebuke me. And I fell down in my knees and just began to weep and cry. And He began to speak to me. He said, What are you doing? You're wasting my time. What are you doing? Oh God, I feel the Spirit of God. You're wasting my time. Time that I've had set aside for you to prepare. Time that I've set aside for you to draw closer to me. Time that I've set aside for my fellowship to be within you. I wept and cried. Sobbed in tears in my living room. And I repented and said, God, forgive me. God, I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry for being gruntled. God, I'm sorry for being agitated. God, I'm sorry for being frustrated. God, I'm sorry for being grumpy. God, I'm sorry. God, forgive me. If I'm speaking to you tonight out there, if something is not right in your life, Pastor's been preaching around here. Don't waste this trial. Tonight, children of God, right there in your living room. If you find yourself grumpy and frustrated and aggravated because he's turned our plans upside down. Mm -hmm. Spring break's closed. The beaches is closed. Seniors is, we say that's missing a lot and I pray for you every day, seniors. But you listen to me. God's in control. And God's got a plan. Just as we started out this year at Living Hope, the year of revival. Let me tell you something tonight, Living Hope family. This is still the year of revival. This is still the year of revival. Amen. I will not waste his time anymore. Amen. I will not waste, amen, this time anymore. Amen. I don't know what you've been going through. I don't know what you're feeling in your spirit. Amen. But I challenge you right now, right in your living room. Amen. Right there in your living room. I challenge you. Amen. Just to stand up right in your living room. Amen. And I want you to begin to worship. Amen. And our elders. Amen. I don't expect you to stand up. Amen. If you're not able, I don't expect you to stand up. Amen. But if you're a living, moving, able body right now, right in your living room, I know this is a different time. I know we're not used to this. Amen. I know that we're not used to churching like this. Amen. But can I tell you tonight, amen, just as God rebuked me, amen, don't waste his time. Amen. We need to prepare. Amen. Because the great 
latest. Amen. Is yet to come. Amen. There's a revival. Amen. In Sierra Land. Amen. That's going to take place. Amen. And I want to be a part of it. And you want to be a part of it. Amen. And prepare. Amen. For this time. Listen. Amen. I'm not, I don't have no agenda. And I don't have no throne stones to throw. I don't have no th- uh, stones to throw and I don't have no agenda. But in this past time of this pandemic, it wasn't set aside for you to catch up on the latest soaps. It wasn't set up aside for you to watch series of Netflix. But this time was set aside for us to draw closer to God. And as much as I miss everybody here tonight at Living Hope, miss all of your smiling faces and the hugs and the handshakes, when we do come back together as an assembly, it's going to be more than a family reunion. Yes, it's going to be wonderful to worship together again. But I don't want it just to be a family reunion. When the new wears off, we go back to our same old, same old ways. Because we've got work to do for the kingdom. Listen to what he said. Amen. I'm closing just a moment. Amen. Listen to what he said during those 40 days. Amen. He said to whom also he showed himself alive. After his passion by many infallible proof. Being seen of them 40 days. And speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom. Speaking those things to the kingdom of God. Sure, it's wonderful. I've caught up on some family time, and that's wonderful. Our families has come back together. We've united back. We've had times together. But more than just our family time, God has set this time aside for us to prepare for battle. It's harvest. He said, look up. Lift up your eyes. For the harvest is truly ripe. For the fields are white. But the labors are so few. I ask you tonight, living hope family. What have you done these 40 days? What have you done these past 40 days? There's souls waiting in the balance. People that never been to know him as their personal savior. Backsliders, they're waiting in the balance. They're watching. They're waiting. How are we going to respond? There have been a lot of changes take place. But let's make sure that the best is yet to come. I want to leave you with this thought tonight. This is the year 2020. 20 plus 20 equals 40. 40 days. Change. 2020 is perfect vision. That if you read my testimony on our Living Hope page, you know that I had an accident Saturday afternoon. And my vision was almost lost. I lost vision in my right eye. But we know that 2020 vision is perfect vision. The Bible said, without a vision, my people perish. What have you been doing for these last few days? As you're standing there in your living room, I pray that you're still standing. Don't get eased in Zion. I'm not the pastor and I'm not here to rebuke anybody. But if we've sat back in our lazy boy recliners and our couches and sipped on sweet tea and ate popcorn while our services were going on, you've wasted this time. Because every one of our ministers and pastor, first lady, our singers, our musicians, they've left nothing behind. 
They give everything they've had for these last several weeks just to make sure you could feel the very presence of Almighty God. Sure, May 1st is fastly approaching, but you still got time right now on tonight. I challenge you, oh God, I got up, I see you. I challenge you right there, standing in your living room. You begin to zone out of everything around you. And I challenge you to begin to yield yourself to him. And say, Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I'm sorry that I've wasted your time. God, I'm sorry that I've been grown on, aggravated and frustrated. God, I've been short. God, I've not read like I should have. Lord, I've not prayed like I should have. Can I tell you tonight, living hope, this hadn't been a vacation. But this has been a time of preparation. Don't you know the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness 40 years on a 26-day journey? 26 day journey that it took them 40 years wandering in the wilderness they got grumpy they complained and some even died in the wilderness what have you done what have you done tonight in these 40 days my prayer is I pray that more than you've got caught up on your housework more than your yard projects more than game nights and I'm not saying nothing is wrong with that don't misinterpret me but more than all of these I pray oh God I pray that you've made preparation in your heart that when we come together in this assembly that know that we've got work to do live in hope for the fields are white and the harvest is now ready. It's time now. It's time. Oh God. It's time tonight to be about the Father's business. And that post that I've seen, I'm going to throw this and I'm closing. They said Jesus was born in the year of census. The year 2020 is the census. A lot of this is not coincidental, but it's by divine ordination. It's because He loves us. He loves you. He loves me. Father, right there in your living room, If you're still standing, I just find me a place to kneel. And I begin to weep before him. Father, I love you. Lord, I thank you for another opportunity of life. Lord, I thank you tonight. God, that you've allowed me to speak your word. Even in my place, Lord that I've been grown on. God, that I've been grumpy. God, that I've been aggravated and agitated with just everything around. And God, I'm sorry. God, start with me. Me tonight, oh God. CJ, God, start with me tonight, oh God. God, I repent before this whole congregation and the whole world. Forgive me, oh God. God, use me, oh God. God, here's my cup, Lord. Lord, I lift it up to you, Jesus. Fill it up. Here's my cup, Lord. Fill it up. God, let me be a mouthpiece. God, that you can speak to in this last day. God, whatever this time that we're in right now, 
God, let me run just as hard as I can run for you. God, let us win souls for the kingdom. Baptize souls in Jesus' name. God, let them receive the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. God, open doors for us to teach Bible studies, oh God. God, to carry this gospel. God, you put the pause button on America. Everybody's looking around and wondering what's going to happen next. But God, as you prepare your bride for the coming, God, prepare me. Prepare me, oh God. Prepare my hearts. God, prepare my heart. Prepare your hearts, live in hope. just gone through the motions I'm sorry when I just sang another song take me back to where we started I open up my heart to you oh I'm sorry when I've come with my agenda, I'm sorry. When I forgot that you're enough, take me back to where we start. I open up my heart to you. Caught up in your presence.
nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you. nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. Nothing else, Jesus. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else, nothing else, Jesus, nothing else will do. I just. 